Welcome to this Junos SDK demo and thanks for joining me. One of the easiest ways to understand the Junos SDK is to check out an application that you build with it in action on Junos. So what I've done is I've actually loaded a sample application that comes with the Junos SDK on two devices today. That application is called Monotube and it does video quality monitoring using an MDI statistic. So today I'm looking at the CLI of one of my devices and you can see I've got the regular Junos load on there and Monotube installed in addition. And I've gone ahead and done that ahead of time. If I switch over to my other device, you can see I've got the exact same thing on both of them. So my setup is pretty simple to understand. I've got a video server and then the two devices in between that and a set top box, which is going to be able to play the video. Let me jump to showing you how to activate this. Jump into the configuration and show you a stanza called Monotube. This is a user interface extension and it's set up to do the video quality monitoring at a rate of about 1000 kbps and pick up any addresses that it sees in this range. Let me exit from that and jump over to my video server. My video server is indeed going to generate video traffic in that range on this specific multicast address in port 2345 and that kind of traffic is going to be UDP RTP traffic. Let me go ahead and start that by pressing stream. All right, let's go back to the router, look at the CLI, and back in the operational mode, I'm going to show you another user interface extension. It's another command, but now it's an operational command called Show Sync Monotube Statistics. There you can see right in front of you now the MDI statistics calculated by this application. Now, MDI is just a video quality metric. No need to understand it for the purposes of this demo. All you need to see is that, guess what? This is my video flow right there, the IP address and port number, and it picks up some statistics for it. And those statistics change over time, and they're calculated on both of the devices. So if I go to my other device, you can see, great, I've got some statistics, they're roughly the same. Alright, what I've brought up now is my traffic generator. I can go ahead and click play, and what you'll see over here in just a second, there it goes. It's starting to generate traffic and it's indeed so much traffic that it's going to congest the link towards my second router and that's going to impact the quality of the video traffic going through the second router and everything after that. Since we congested the link towards the second router, I'm going to look at the second device's CLI and check out the statistics there. If I repeat the exact same command, you can see we've got some packet loss. And the other statistics numbers are increasing as well, which is a sign of a problem that's getting worse. Now all this is of course expected since I purposefully flooded the second device with too much traffic, just so I could show you this working in the demo. What you see in the video display from the end host set top box player is the picture quality suffering as well. It got very pixelated and fuzzy when we started the traffic generator, of course, and the reason for that is that the link between our two routers from the first device to the second is really congested. Now Monotube shows you exactly where the problem is happening right away. If you look at the statistics on the first router, they're still showing no problem in contrast to the second router which found the problem. Now this data is tremendously valuable information to the operator to help find the problem quickly. Using the Junos SDK API as the application on the device that detects the video problem has a lot of options. It could raise alarms, it could raise network management traps and so on. It could even take corrective action if redundant video sources were available. And last but not least, certainly worth mentioning is that a Juno Space application that you could build with the Juno Space SDK could help the operator to visually see these video statistics in a nicer way and even fix the problem with a nice view of the network topology and the paths that are being congested and experiencing video problems. So in summary, Monotube is just one example of an application that you can build with the Junos SDK and it no longer needs to run on another network appliance. It can be embedded right in the Junos powered devices.